Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel. It's Monday. And as promised, I went to the rehearsal room yesterday, set the volumes on the 80s rock preset package, and filmed it. Filmed some of it. Enough of it. Uh, so you can get an idea of how, I, uh, how my process works. So without further ado, let's go to space rehearsal in Austin, Texas. Okay, here I am at space rehearsal in Austin, Texas. Just got here, so all my shit's a mess. I'm gonna plug everything in and get it all set up, and then share with you the rest of uh, today's mayhem. We are now set up. I've got everything happening. I've, I'm even carrying around, if you can see it, this thing. Oh, 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 it barely reaches in the frame, the Tascam uh, IXJ2 little mic pre. I've got my lav mic on, so it should sound a little bit better, a little less crazy roomy. Here's my tripod set up. I'm going to set that up in a second when I show you how I actually do this stuff. So what I do is I set up right in front of the mixing board. I put the mixing board up on up on the table here and I've got everything zeroed out on the first two channels. That's where I'm plugged in. And I've got the uh, gains set so that I max out at two yellow lights up here on the meter bridge for uh, regular rhythm stuff. For solos I want to I want to you know occasionally hit the third but never the red. Um, I'm running the into the speakers, into my JBLs, I run the uh, quarter inch outs and the XLRs go to the mixing board because that's the way that I run it live. The quarter inches always feed the, uh, the JBLs that are down here at my feet and uh, they could probably be moved a little bit closer so that they're not being obscured by the stand, but I don't really give a shit. It is super loud in here. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to actually uh, save any audio because I don't have a way to get uh, audio into this thing <laughs> that's not going to be just bone crushing ambient wise. So we'll see. But uh, let me set this sucker up on the tripod so I can get a, uh, a good vantage point here. Lock it down on the jobby. And then crank it up. So, so I want you to be able to see the uh, what I'm doing as well as the mixing board. Hopefully, you'll be able to see everything. Where the fuck did I put my pick? God damn it! All right, here we go. I has pick. I also need special the special sauce, the wind beneath my wings. I gotta have my Madu. Anyway. Alright, so try and sit down here without knocking shit around. Alright. Guitar. And the way that I set my volumes for all of the presets is the same way that I set my volumes for, uh, for gigging. Um, I want my volume, this, to be pointing right at the P on phones. That's where I set it. So with the, the volumes on the preset packages, I don't want them to be any louder or quieter than I would use my personal setups, personal presets. Okay, I'm working on the In a Big Country preset and let's save anything just in case. I don't remember if I had... Uh, changed anything on the crunch snapshot. So on the, on the dirty snapshot, you can't see that, but it's, it's this one, number one. And if I play that, that's right where I need to be. It's lighting up two yellows on the mixing board. Everything's set where I want it. It's good. Uh, I hope that's not overloading the speaker or the uh, the camera here, the you know the iPhone. 
I've dropped the volume level to less than half of what it was in the room because I crank the shit out of these things when I play them because I want to be able to hear, you know, the whole Fletcher Munson thing and I want to, be, want to know that at full volumes these are, these are going to sound the way they should. So I crank the hell out of them. Probably louder than most of you people will ever play them. So, you know, just to be safe. Now, the clean preset. <laughs> at two yellow lights so we're good on that one. The crunch preset, which only really happens in the uh it's not quite there yet. So what I like to do first for volumes, just making sure that I, I'm not using my expression pedal for leads and I've got a solo snapshot so that doesn't happen. But uh, the first thing that I do is raise up the uh, output level on the IRs. That's where I go to first to get extra volume. Let's save that. Almost there. Now let's go over to the amp model. Let's boost those up a bit. Almost there. Back over here, just a hair more on the IRs. And here's the thing, this particular part, once I think about it, let's drop those back down a bit. This particular part in the song, it's not a totally in your face, super loud part, so you don't want it to be as loud as the other rhythms. <laughs> But it is the only instrument playing while it plays, I believe. So, you know, I take the, the, the song in mind when I set my volumes on things as well. Moving on to the solo. And that is a... Uh, I'm going to want that a little louder. So let's start with the uh, IRs. Since we're in snapshot mode, I can just make these changes and then save them, and then they'll be saved to the, uh, the snapshots that I'm working on. I just want to make sure that I'm... It's getting there. Now let's add some amp model volume. And forgot how to play it. It's been a week since I played it, or a few days. So, ha. I think I still want a little more volume. Because that particular part of the song really stands out. I mean, it stands out, and I hope I'm not overloading this. Whoopsie! Nice. So that one is a, uh, stick a fork in that one. Just go back to the uh, first snapshot where the song starts and then resave it again so that when the people that purchase the presets, when they go to this particular snapshot, it's not on the solo or the clean or the crunch. It's, it's where the song starts. That's what I like to do. See, I'm thinking about you people. Next one. Perfect Strangers. 
I don't remember how that song goes. <laughs> I think it goes like that. Now, uh, that doesn't seem near loud enough. It is not. Also, I'm going to roll off the gain a little bit on the amp models and the distortion. Granted, this is a different guitar than the one I made this one, but the, uh, the two guitars are very similar as far as the output of the pickups. So, what we want to do first is, since there are snapshots, set the uh, crank some volume first. Save it and see where we get. Not there yet. Now let's go over and move over to the IRs. Making sure, I'll push forward on the expression pedal just to make sure, let me tilt this, how about that? Just to make sure that I'm not using the expression for any kind of solo. but. The solo snapshot right here also tells the story. So let's put that, bump that up a couple of dB. And then save it. We are solid. Now, moving on to the, uh, the flange lick. It's kind of a... But it's going to need more volume because it's a uh, solo situation. So let's put that up to 15 because we're going to need, it's a, you know, it's a, uh, a lead lick and it sort of leads into the uh, second section of the song. <laughs> nice, much better. Now the solo is <laughs> has nothing to do with what I just played, but it needs more volume. It needs to really bump up there, so I'm going to crank up some of this. Bring this up to where the other one, the lead lick was, so that there's some, you know, transparency when you go between this one. It's a little louder, a little too loud. Sometimes I get too loud. Drop that down a hair. Let's save it. Now we go between the two licks. Beauty. Because I want the solo to be a little bit louder than that flange lick, but not screaming loud. Um. Now, the last thing that I do when I'm on a preset like this that's all crunch sounds, I'll go through and play a, a single chord Making sure that when I, when I go to the leads, it, there's going to be enough volume. And there's going to be enough volume. Fear not. So, go back to the original, the number one preset, which is the first part of the song. Save the preset. ta done. And that concludes what I'm going to do on camera, because I've got another uh, bunch of presets to, to uh, put together and uh, finish up. I'm only in here for three hours today, and I've got, uh, I've got to spend about an hour working on my personal presets. So, I'll go back to the guy in the, in the studio. There you go, everybody. Good times. There is still a link to order the 80s rock presets in the uh, description below, because I haven't put it up on the website yet. Uh, I, need to get, I need to do that, but I've been busy. Jesus. Oh. I've been working on new presets. New preset package. It's an eight snapshot preset package. So basically what I'm doing is uh, there will be some that have the, uh, the new acoustic simulation, a pair of those, then a pair of cleans, 
a pair of low gains and a pair of high gains or higher gains, depending on the preset. Uh, because some will be using clean amps, like my combination of a uh, Fender Tweed and a, uh, which one is it? I combined uh, the Tweed and the uh, Dr. Z to a really cool effect. Um, so there'll be uh, 15 presets and each one will have eight snapshots so it's going to be a lot of them. Um, I'm trying to work it out so that I only have to use two banks of presets for the whole night of music with my band. That's my goal and these eight snapshot presets are going to be the linchpin of that little scheme. So if I can make it work, it should work for you. So I will see you tomorrow with more of the 8-snap uh, preset package. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I'll see you then. And until then, 